Hey, jazz fans, hold everything. Norman Grand's Jazz at the Philharmonic will be here in Los Angeles Thursday, October 7th at the Shrine Auditorium, Jefferson and Royal. The first lady of song, Miss Ella Fitzgerald, will be there performing her top recording hits, along with ace drummer men Buddy Rich and Louis Belson, the Oscar Peterson Trio, tenor men Flip Phillips and Ben Webster, the great Daisy Gillespie and Roy Eldridge on trumpets, downbeat award winner Buddy DeFranco on clarinet, Big Bill Harris on trombone, and many, many more. Never has there been such a collection of jazz greats assembled to give you an evening of excitement and musical thrills. Yes, make your reservations early to see and hear Norman Grand's Jazz at the Philharmonic. Remember, one night only, Shrine Auditorium, Jefferson and Royal, Thursday evening, October 7th. Get your tickets now at Southern California Music Company, 737 South Hill, and all mutual ticket agencies. That's one of the original promotional ads aired on Los Angeles radio stations in 1954. I'm Nat Hentoff, and tonight on Out of the Norm, the Grand's bandwagon broadens its horizons while the recording activities undertaken by the owner of the Clef, Norgrand, and Down Home labels lead to some classic releases. Norman Grands oversaw every aspect of his operations. Nothing was left to chance. Jazz historian and broadcaster Bob Porter. The one thing about Norman is he always did the publicity job properly. When Jazz the Philharmonic was coming, everybody in the town knew about it. He worked print media, he worked radio media, he had billboard, you know, signs up on the, uh, on the street corners all over the place. He was extremely effective at doing that, probably as good as any promoter that we've ever seen in the jazz business. Uh, rock and roll promoters, of course, ultimately learned from how he did it. He had people in, in specific towns across the country who he would hire to do specific jobs for them in forward promoting his mm -hmm. concerts and events. He worked the white newspapers, he worked the black newspapers, and he worked the black newspapers more successfully than any promoter up to his time. In 1952, Grands took JATP overseas for the first time, playing to ecstatic audiences in Europe, starting off in Stockholm, and closing in Frankfurt. Good evening. Tonight, Jazz of the Philharmonic plays its second concert in Frankfurt, and incidentally, this is the last concert of our tour in Europe, so it ought to be a good one. The tour was a complete success. Lester Young, Ella Fitzgerald, Roy Eldridge, Oscar Peterson, Max Roach, and Ray Brown were among those who traveled first class, stayed in five-star hotels, played the major concert halls, and were paid handsomely for their efforts. Norman Granz made sure that his musicians were treated in the same fashion as their classical counterparts. Back home, the 1952 JATP tour reached New York's Carnegie Hall on the 13th of September. There were two sold-out shows that night. The entertainment paper Variety noted that the ticket sales had grossed $21,000, a remarkable figure at the time. Variety also added that Billie Holiday had made an unscheduled appearance at the concerts. Grand's biographer, Tad Hershaw. When uh, Billie Holiday played at Carnegie Hall in September 1952, Norman had invited Holiday to appear as a surprise and Ella Fitzgerald would be on the bill, so in effect, Norman would have the opportunity to present two of the greatest jazz artists in uh, the history of the music on one night. And Norman uh, balled out the audience during uh, Holiday's appearance. I mean, jazz at Philharmonic audiences were known as, you know, really, it could be unruly at times. And particularly so on this occasion, with Oscar Peterson, Barney Kessel, Ray Brown, and Buddy Rich already on stage, Norman Granz brings out Billie Holiday during the first of the evening's two shows. The following has never been heard before. And here's something very extra special. It's something that's a surprise. Billie Holiday. Never had no kissing 
poignant holiday and an angry grands, heard for the very first time 51 years after the fact. I'm Nat Hentoff, and you're listening to Out of the Norm, the life and times of Norman Grands on BBC Radio 2. <laughs> 